Hello, welcome to Faith Talk with Father A, a new series diving deeper into our Catholic faith. Um, this morning, we started out with our students doing a live reading of the Passion of Christ, and we want to kind of dive into our own faith and get more questions answered to kind of what this weekend, Easter weekend, weekend signifies. First off, why is it called the passion? You know, that's a really interesting question. A lot of people hear the word passion and they think of romantic movies, a passionate weekend out in Vegas, whatever it might be. But the word passion, it actually comes from the Latin word patior, which means to undergo, to endure, to suffer. And so the passion is the suffering of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, when we go through the passion narrative, what we're doing is we're walking every step of the way where Jesus Christ is suffering for us. We're meditating upon those things. We're putting ourselves in those scenes so that we can grasp some spiritual fruit from it and go forth in a changed uh, changed way. So that's why we go through the passion of Jesus Christ. Triduum. Triduum. Um, kind of talk through the, those days, those steps, those everything into what actual Sunday is. Mm -hmm. So what's really beautiful about the Triduum, and the Triduum is, again, Latin, I'm a big Latin nerd, but <laughs> it basically means three days, the three holy days. What's really beautiful is the church sees them as one liturgy. So we aren't necessarily going through three separate, or even depending if you include some of the other prayer services, mm -hmm four or five separate liturgies. We're all going through one liturgy, and it has three distinct parts. We have the liturgy on Holy Thursday, which is the celebration of the Lord's Supper, the liturgy on Friday, which is the celebration of our Lord's Passion, and then we have the liturgy of Easter Vigil and Easter Masses on Sunday, which are the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so you have three distinct celebrations, and that gives us the three days of the Triduum, and that would align with the three days that our Lord was in the grave, but suffered death, and then rose. And so the, on Holy Thursday, we will have Mass at my parish at 7. might be at a different time at your parish, wherever you go. Uh, during that Mass, we'll have the washing of the feet to remember the uh, service of Jesus Christ and how he taught each one of us that it is not in serving, pardon me, it's not to be served, but to serve, that we are called as Christians. And that rem reminds us also of the institution of the priesthood and the institution of the Eucharist. And so you'll see your priest get down on his knees, and that reminds all of us priests that you know, we're not big you know, pie in the sky individuals here. We're supposed to be with everybody. And then we will have a Eucharistic procession at the end, and it will be as though we're processing with Christ into the Garden of Gethsemane. And so that's why you have the Eucharistic procession at the end. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, that uh -huh. is beautiful. You were talking about how you guys wear different colors, oh, you yeah. guys, mm -hmm. priests, during the whole Lenten, and it, you said, I believe it went white. Purple, red, white again. No, no, almost. almost. No! Yeah. Oh, I was close. So we'll wear white on Holy Thursday. Yes. And then on Friday, Good Friday, we will wear red. To signify the death. Of Jesus Christ, that he is the martyr of all martyrs. And yes. that's why we wear red on other martyr days as okay. well. Yes. And then on Holy Saturday, the Easter Vigil, we'll, we will wear white again. White. And so white on Thursday to signify the Eucharist, New white life. on Easter to signify new life, exactly. New beginning. Mm -hmm. um, all right, the next few days, there's a lot of services and potentially people won't be able to make those, but what can they do to really embrace this weekend? You know, there's a lot of really good things you could do. I, I think the best way would be to take a look, five, ten minutes, see what's going to happen at all the liturgies, and see if you can reenact some of those at home with your kids. On Holy Thursday, if you can't make it to the Holy Thursday Mass for whatever reason, maybe you could have a feet washing at home. Mm. That'd be a really sweet way to teach your kids the nature of it. Uh, maybe the maybe the kids could wash the parents' feet. I know Free pedicures. Exactly, you never know. <laughs> On uh, Good Friday, you could have a cross at your home where people, you, you have your kids kiss it, and you talk about the passion in Jesus Christ. Maybe you could walk through the Stations of the Cross. It's one of my favorite devotions, walking through the Stations. It's pretty amazing. Easter Vigil, make sure you have a really great meal planned because it's a celebration. Yeah. Have a great meal planned. Uh, take a look at the readings. Maybe read through all of them. There are many readings for the Easter Vigil. And so maybe you could read a couple of them as a family. Do something special connected with the liturgy. And I think you would really find the next few days to be very spiritually fruitful. So to be clear, it's not about the Easter eggs. <laughs> It depends. I mean, Easter eggs are a sign of new life in Jesus Christ. So 
insofar as they remind you of Jesus, they're a great thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, my kids have asked how bunnies lay eggs. So mm -hmm. we're already at that point. Yeah, it's, it doesn't just concern <laughs> question. Mm -hmm. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us for our new series, Faith Talk with Father A. Um, thank you for breaking it down for us and, and really giving us a lot of information to process and take in and really dive deeper into our Catholic roots. Is there anything else that you would like to say? No, I would just encourage everybody, if you can get to any of the liturgies over the next few days, they are absolutely beautiful. They're not like the rest of the year. You'll really enjoy them. And I hope that everybody can have a very good and fruitful uh, next few days the Triduum. It'll be a beautiful time for me and I hope it's a beautiful time for you as well. Happy Easter to all of you.